Hello, my friends. Well, today, Wednesday, the uh, 7th, 7th of August, we just entered into the 100 mile wilderness. The last 100 miles of the Appalachian Trail. We are five days away from Mount Katahdin. We will summit on Monday and we'll complete my through hike of the Appalachian Trail. Should be right around Oh, I don't know how many days, 133 days or something, so pretty awesome, but here we go. Let's go have some fun in the 100 mile wilderness. Let's go. friends uh, get this get the day started out right coming up steps we got some stair some rock stairs going up 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 we are actually headed up white cap mountain in the hundred mile wilderness today is day three but uh, before we get started on day three let's talk about day one and day two Day one got started a little bit late, about 11 o'clock in the morning, late morning there, uh, coming out of Shaw's. I actually did not hike to the highway. I took a blue blaze into Shaw's, which was a mistake. Of course, I just had it that day, so I was ready. And I'll tell you what, that is a beautiful sight right there. Yeah, that's the sun. We'll get to that here in a few minutes. Um, day one, uh, going pretty good in the morning. I only did about 16 and a half miles, I think is what it was. Not a very productive day. Uh, certainly, I needed, I needed 19 or even 20. But uh, I didn't get there. Partly due to me... I, I went to check out this waterfall and black slate rock can get pretty slick. Anyway, I took a fall and it uh, was a small cut on my thigh, scraped up my, my shin and a little nick on my knee. Uh, those weren't, I mean, those hurt, it hurt. The little cut on my thigh is like nothing as far as pain, it all bled <laughs> a little bit, but uh, the knee a little bit hurt, but then the shin, it's also a bruise. I don't think you can really see it in the, in that, I don't know if you can see that or not, probably not, but it's uh, it's gone down. I've put some stuff on it, uh, cleaned it up, um, but uh, bruised, and it flipping hurt. But what hurt more than that was when I fell, I also fell on my butt and it hit the rock hard. Um, and even right now, two days later, it still hurts to even walk. Um, every time I take a step with that right leg, it just, it just hurts. Um, so I just doped myself up on 1,300 milligrams of Tylenol. <laughs> it helps a bit. Uh, we'll talk about those aches and pains here in a minute. You got some more? Going up. Um, anyhow, I sat there, laid there for 
20 or 30 minutes before I felt like I could actually walk. I tried to get up and walk. I, I couldn't. I was, it was a bad limp. It was hurting. My ego got bruised pretty bad as well. <laughs> I got through that pretty quick though. Um, anyhow, so eventually I got to, got to going, but it was rough. So I didn't, uh, I was struggling to, to really get anywhere, get moving. But I did, I got there. And toward the end of the day, I'm only, I don't know, maybe four or five miles short of where I really wanted to go. Um, but I didn't think I'd make it because it was getting dark. I just was not gaining ground like I'd hoped. But I come across this old logging road. There's a big sign, and it's a nice looking sign. It says Trail Magic, point two. And I'm like, yes, Trail Magic. Well, I took about 10 or 15 pet. Look at this. I don't know if you guys can see that out there. There's a view. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. It took about 10, 15 paces. And... And uh, I'm like, wait a minute. It's two tenths? I ain't got time for this. I got, I got miles I got to put on. And... I don't know why I do this video when I'm going uphill. <laughs> Um, so I turn around, I'm like, no, I got miles to do, no time for trail magic. Well, and then it hit me. Now, wait a minute. I've always said to go to do this trail magic. My pack's not sitting right. That knife should not be hitting me in the throat. There we go. Um... I've always said to do trail magic because, sorry folks, because trail magic, these folks that are providing trail magic, this is something they enjoy doing. And they take the time and energy, their resources, their money to provide trail magic for us hikers. And so I turned around and I went back. And I did go down there and I'll tell you what, it was absolutely, Phenomenal trail magic. Burgers, I got a couple burgers, and they had all these other different homemade sauces, which made it much better. Uh, first time trying Fiddlehead, uh, and then corn on the cob, homemade potato salad, pineapple slaw, and then chips and soda, Gatorade. I spent about 40 minutes there talking to these guys um, and there's a big long story behind uh, why it's all done and who um, they do it in memory of a guy that used to own the place that used to provide trail magic to hikers so they've continued on that tradition for for this guy holy moly Whew. My morning just got started and I'm already wore out. Uh, anyhow, so did that and then I went on my way, hiked about another mile and it started raining. Oh well, I'm gonna set up camp. I don't wanna be setting up all when it's everything's wet and rainy. So I set up camp and no sooner than I got inside my hammock, it started raining pretty hard. So just in time. Bummed out about my mileage for the day, but because I gotta make it up because I got a deadline. And I'm gonna be squeezing it tight. All right, day two. I did sleep well that first night though. Even though the aches and pains, but I woke up feeling like I got hit by a Mack truck. Oh my gosh. All those like aches and pains were there again. And uh, I could barely walk because of my my rear end. Uh, 
but got me some breakfast, took me some Tylenol and ibuprofen mix, and packed up camp and got on my way. I had a big day. I had to do like 20, I wanted 24, 24 miles, and but the problem was, first of all, I had no idea where I was going because I accidentally deleted my PDF of the Through Hiker Companion. So I couldn't see what mountains I had, you know, the elevation changes, things like that. Nor did I see where water was at. Of course, water was falling from the sky, but it rained pretty much all day. It was a steady rain, not real hard, but a steady rain, you know, enough to get you wet real fast. And so here I go, I'm just going. But uh, I couldn't move very fast because some of the rocks were slippery, roots are slippery. By the time I got four miles, it felt like 10. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. I was basically moving about a mile mile and a half an hour. I like this is bad. Well, eventually I came across some better ground, better trail that wasn't so rough. And it did stop raining for a couple of hours. So that was nice. But after that, uh, I got, I don't know, I must have got about 15 miles and it started to rain again. But this time it was a torrential downpour. Just crazy, crazy, crazy hard rain. Well, I knew I had to pick it up. I had to get somewhere. I had to get at least 22 miles for the day. At least. So with the beat of the and the steadiness of the rain, I made the decision that I had to get it done. So my pace became what the rain was. Now by now I'm on some better ground, some flatter ground. Uh, still had some places, but no no rock scrambles anymore. Just a little bolder bouldered trail roots things like that but anyhow it was miserable and by the way what I ended up doing because I wanted dry socks I did not wear socks yesterday with my shoes and of course I just went pounding just right through all the puddles I didn't care there's no time to go around them just go through them you're wet anyway it actually felt good on my feet. <laughs> and so as I did that, eventually it started to wear on my heel and on the sides of my foot. And now I've got these hot spots on my heels and on the sides of my foot, the ankle area where my shoe was rubbing on my skin. And that hurts today. I barely walk. <laughs> it hurts so bad. I did put some band-aids on them, put some cream on them. Man alive. Maine, Maine has been my favorite state, but it's also been the roughest on me. It's crazy. So anyhow, eventually I got to a shelter. And lots of people there. It was quarter to eight, or quarter to nine, I'm sorry, at night. Oh, look at this. Yeah, quarter to nine. And um, I didn't want to bother people, so I moved on. But right there at that, at that uh, shelter was right about 22 miles. Well, I had it in me to go a little bit more. Uh, but by now, it had stopped raining, 
In fact, it stopped raining probably for about 20 minutes before I got to the shelter. Just some sprinkles here and there. And I went about another mile, mile and a half. Yeah, probably a mile and a half. And found me a spot, a stealth spot. Uh, camp for the night. Got my hammock set up. And, uh, and went to bed. Put some dry clothes on and, and went to bed. Um, but uh, one thing uh, that did happen though, between all that is I had a good friend had sent me the PDF file. So I was able to download the PDF file and now I can see where I'm going and what I'm up against. Today's goal, somewhere around 30 miles. I'm getting a late start again. It's, I started at six, I wanted to start at five. Um, woke up at a quarter to five uh, and just kind of laid there, massaged my feet, cared for my feet, put some cream on, on those hot spots. Oh, I've also got hot spots on my waist on both sides where my hip belt rubs and on the back side on my back there and I'll tell you what they're not pretty uh, and it hurts so but uh, put some stuff on those I just got to tough this out my friends I got a lot of little ailments going on but I uh, just got to tough it out you know um, because uh, today's Friday so uh, I guess I'm on Gulf Hagus Mountain The next one is Whitecap. This is all part of it. Part of the same mountain. Uh, Whitecap just sits higher. Let's see, which was this at? 2683. Um, so yeah, I'll, uh, I'll hit Whitecap here in just a bit. And that'll be the last mountain for the day. It actually, I mean, it's got some little, little hills up and down rolling around, nothing real big. A lot of flat going on. So I should be able to do 30 miles, 30 plus. Uh, if I can do 30, if I can do 32, 33, I'm happy with that. Uh, and then tomorrow will be a little bit less than that. But uh, I plan on pulling into uh, a ball bridge uh, Sunday night, summit Mount Katahdin on Monday. So but there's day one, day two, and of course a little bit of day three, but we'll talk about day three later. Uh, um, so yeah, you guys, uh, you guys have a great one and we'll see you in a little while. Goodbye. Hello, my friends. Well, I am atop White Cap Mountain where... Well, on a clear day, you can see Mount Katahdin from here. But uh, Mount Katahdin is that direction. Well, you can very well see that we can't see it today. just surreal, humbling. It sure would be nice if that cloud opened up, wouldn't it? it don't look like it's going to anytime soon. And I'm not going to stick around. I got trail magic waiting in about 17 miles from here and I got to get moving. Um, I am so super excited. Uh, but I'll tell you what, this 
this is uh, still a beautiful view. We need to get on it. Day three in the, the 100 mile wilderness. Let's go finish it out. See you guys later. Good morning, my friends. All right, so you can see that uh, today is day four of the 100 mile wilderness. And this was my camp spot for the night. Um, the sunrise was quite a bit pinker here about a half hour, 40 minutes ago. Um, this is actually going to be on the other side of, of this this mountain here, hill, whatever that is, of, of those trees. <laughs> um, I was really hoping it was going to be over here, <laughs> through here, because it seemed like the sun went down um, over here. But it looks like we uh, won't be able to get much of the sunrise. But it, this morning, uh, first thing, about a quarter to five this morning, it was absolutely beautiful. Uh, and I'll actually... A lot of photos of that, of course, but uh, um, this is a cool little sandy beach. I mean, I was able to hang my hammock up around that rock right there. Got to go around that rock, and up inside there, there's a couple of trees that uh, I had a great view of this here. So it was absolutely just gorgeous, gorgeous. That's the second time that's happened um, here in just this past week. I've been able to set my hammock up in a couple of trees right next to a lake uh, and get that lake view. Um, the stars were absolutely phenomenal again last night. Just beautiful. The moon was out, uh, but I mean, it did go down uh, fairly quick. But, um, but anyhow, so this is a nice little beach here as well. You can see I got my gear there. Um, nice little lake. But anyway, let's talk a little bit about day three. Uh, yesterday got up and um, got to move and it was a 30 mile day I had to push 30 miles or or more I ended up getting 29 uh, and the biggest reason was is because there was trail magic set up um, and it was absolutely phenomenal just I, you know you come out of the woods and, um, and of course I knew I knew they were gonna be there uh, they let me know they'd be there at a certain time and, and um, and I made, I made it a point to shoot for that at, a, at that specific time, a specific time, and I became accountable. So, but it was a big goal to get there by four o'clock, and I did, and I sat there for about two, two, almost two and a half hours. Um, so I certainly got 30 plus um, yesterday had I, had I not had the trail magic, but I'll tell you what, I'm glad I had it. I'm glad it was there. Nothing better than an ice cold, Soda. I mean, an orange soda. Even it's just like, oh my gosh. And then, uh, and then she gave me a great big Mountain Dew to go. <laughs> and I made a mistake by putting it in the lake last night. And the lake is actually warmer than the air. I should have just left it out and it'd be colder. But it's like warm now because the lake is warm. In fact, I contemplated going for a swim this morning, um, except that I have no way of drying off because everything I have is damp already. It's all wet, uh, just from the humidity, so. But, uh, but yeah, it was a good day yesterday. I mean, there was only a couple mountains to climb, a couple 3,000 foot mountains to climb. And, a th uh, you know, there's, I don't know, there was probably four total um, peaks, um, but, uh, but nothing, nothing real big, nothing real difficult. Uh, uh, there was a lot of fun yesterday, a lot of flat ground. Some say it's the red carpet to Katahdin. And here I am, what is it, Saturday morning, and, and I will, by the end of today, I'm shooting for 34 miles today. 34 miles today. And that puts me like 12 miles from Katahdin, you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is amazing. Um, 
and then tomorrow I'll walk in. I'll, actually, I can probably walk in. I can walk into Baxter State Park today, tonight. Um, but uh, but that leaves tomorrow, uh, you know, 10, 10, 12 miles or something like that. Um, and it sounds like we'll be staying at the campground uh, where Honeybee's dad has got a campground reserved. So um, we'll stay at the campground. That's just a few miles up the mountain uh, to Katahdin. So I will be looking, I will be looking, possibly looking at Katahdin tonight. Um, it's un unfortunately, the kids are about, a, they're a full day ahead or behind me. I mean, they're a full day behind. They're 27 miles behind me. I have no idea how that happened. They must have taken a zero at Shaw's um, or, or got on the trail and did a few miles. I don't know what happened. Uh, they did leave a message of where they were at, but I haven't had much communication with them. The signals are bad. So, but um, I'll tell you what, day three was a great day. Got a lot of mileage on, beautiful weather. It started to sprinkle just a little bit. I got a little worried. Um, it's like, I don't want to get any more wet than I've already been, but, uh, but I'll tell you what, what a great day yesterday, uh, and today is going to be the same. It's going to be a great day, no mountains to climb, just some hills, uh, some rolling hills, and some nearly flat, but uh, you guys, it sounds like, well, no, I looked at the map, it doesn't really follow this lake around, but the trail did follow this around here for a little while, and there's another beach right Right in there, there's another beach right in there, but not not quite as big and nice as this one here. I'll give you one more shot of this one. But uh, great for a tent, you know, some tents and, and all, but man, what a spot. And you guys, I'm not seeing many people on the trail anymore. Um, I've seen I've seen um, a few Sobos here this last couple of days. Um, I've seen no Northbounders at all. And of course, they're probably the same pace as I am. But at Trail Magic, uh, she said there was no northbounders come through in the few hours that she was there. So um, it's uh, few and far in between out up, up here near Katahdin um, in the 100 mile wilderness. I'll tell you what, I'm excited. We got it. We got Katahdin. So, um, ah. <laughs> I try not to get too emotional about this, man, but I'll tell you what, it's been a journey. It's been a great journey of my uh, 2,200 miles of walking. That includes the approach trail, the eight, nine miles of the approach trail. So um, anyhow, so we'll, I'm going to get going. I'm going to have my breakfast and, and get on the trail. I got some miles to do today, and we'll come back and see you again later. Talk to you later. my friends all right so um, unfortunately my battery and my phone died my phone died my all my power no good and so I was unable to get uh, some other video and some photos that I'd liked to have gotten um, Bummed out. I knew I was going to be run short on power, uh, and I was hoping, I was hoping, but uh, it just didn't work out. So I'm pretty bummed out. But I just, I came out of the woods here a bit ago, uh, hiked through the night, well, not through the whole night, but late, 
to get to where I was at and then got up here about two hours ago and wanted to get here hoping I'd catch catch something but just came out of the woods here a bit ago but was able to get to this campground was able to uh, tap into some power and get a little bit of juice here um, but I didn't really want to walk all the way back to where I came out of the woods but take a look at this White Blaze River. Mount Katahdin. Freaking crazy. <laughs> um, we're on A Ball Bridge. <laughs> Mount Katahdin. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm here. absolutely freaking amazing here I am I've already walked across this bridge <laughs> but because uh, I had to get some power so I could do a video coming across here um, <sighs> oh this is crazy um, I pushed real real hard to get here this morning um, I was very close last night and stayed inside the woods there I came out this morning give it just a little bit longer look at this the clouds are covering the top a little bit but uh, hopefully they stop because I want to get a picture of a uh, picture of that without the clouds it looks like they just keep rolling over. But you guys, this is crazy. Um, I was really hoping the kids would catch up to me so we could walk out here together, but there's, they're a day behind. Not even sure where they're at right now. But I hope they can get here so we can summit tomorrow. We've still got to go a little ways to get there, but uh, there it is. Uh, for the most part, yesterday was uneventful, just a lot of hiking. I was focused on the trail. I was just very focused at uh, staying on that trail and moving. My feet are hurting. My my calf took a little bit of a hit again, but uh, we'll be all right. Actually, I don't want to cross. I want to get picture. I want to get a couple good pictures of this. If that cloud moves across there, out of there, but. Uh, um, the trail's been fairly nice. I mean, you know, there's sections of rocky and roots and stuff like that, follow around the lake and all. But, uh, I mean, I got focused. I was focused on that trail moving. So, uh, I did about 30, 30 miles yesterday. Uh, but, uh, super, super excited. I'm glad I'm here. But uh, I'll come back and talk some more later, guys. And uh, about the rest of the day, I've still got a little bit of hiking to do today to get in. Um, but uh, we're getting very super close. So we'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye. Hello, my friends. All right, so we are now out of the 100 mile wilderness. Of course, we knew that. I have now entered into Baxter State Park. I am somewhere in the neighborhood of about eight miles from the Birches, uh, in which I think I'm staying the night. Uh, in the Birches, you're only allowed to stay one night. Um, you know, because it's for northbound hikers getting ready to summit, and surely there's other hikers behind me. Now, the only other hikers I know that for a fact that are behind me within a day are none other 
than my own tramley. Honeybee Dynamite Kingpin and the new added recent recently added snacks. Um, and they are a day behind. Originally our plan was to summit on the 12th, which is tomorrow morning. Um, I'm still kind of tempted to do that and then summit again with them. But there's, I think there's only allowed so many people to summit each day, so. I'm gonna wait for them. Uh, you know, because it's kind of special to be able to summit with, with the people especially honeybee and dynamite that I've been with for so long through this journey and um, so I'm kind of I'm in a dilemma here I was gonna stay at a campground with honeybee's dad and her her other family members that have come up to celebrate uh, her success well our success really and um, but they're at a campground outside of the park, which is not walking distance from me. And they don't know that. I didn't know that at the time I talked to them. So we'll see, but from the sounds of it, um, I'll be able to stay the night at the Birches one night. And then I may have to hitch out of the park. Um, and maybe find a ride to where they're at uh, for the day tomorrow um, and then come in come into the park with them on Tuesday morning when we plan to summit I hope all this goes well because I gotta fly out I got a plane ticket for the 14th for Wednesday 5 a.m. So I got it work perfect. Hopefully it works out perfect. So anyhow, I'm gonna uh, go ahead and get to the birches, get signed in at the get signed in at the uh, ranger station and kind of uh, contemplate what I got going on here. Um, I'm a little nervous uh, because if these kids don't make it in in time, and there's not enough space at the birches for them to stay. There's only 12 people allowed to stay there at night. And if there's that many people between me and them, that holds them back a day, which puts me in a serious bind. So, I don't know, I'll think about it, we'll figure something out, but uh, nevertheless, Mount Katahdin's right in front of me and I'm but 12 miles to 12 miles from the summit of Mount Katahdin which will successfully complete my through hike of the Appalachian Trail I'll see you guys later laying in my hammock and just relaxing this is the first time I've been to camp this early in a long time in fact I've been here a few hours but uh, kind of an update of where what's going on um, I'm at the Birches in Baxter State Park Mount Katahdin summit is about 5.2 miles from here right up the trail this is kind of where we hang out before we summit. Um, I have, I finally got to communicate with, with Honeybee uh, uh, Dynamite and Kingpin about what their plans are. Uh, when I talked to them about three hours ago, they were, 
they were about 16 miles out from Abel Bridge, so that's 26, 26 miles from me. Um, but they were going to continue to hike a little bit longer, and they have, because uh, I contemplated on actually summiting, going, going ahead and summiting tomorrow, but uh, I have decided um, now not to. I'm going to wait for them. They, they made me feel all warm and fuzzy about, um, about them being here tomorrow, no later than 3 p.m., so then that means we can summit uh, Tuesday morning uh, early and then off to Portland, Maine. We go um, uh, for dinner and then they'll take me to the airport. So that's what's going on. They're, uh, I, they're, they still may be hiking now. Hopefully they'll get here a little earlier than that. I don't, I don't know. It doesn't really matter at this point. But... Um, I, uh, earlier I had mentioned something about only letting so many people summit. That's, I was, I was wrong about that. That's, that's not, that's not true. They only allow 12 people into the Birch's campsite in which they don't plan on staying at the campsite anyway. So we don't have to worry about that at all. Um, Honeybee's dad will be here, uh, come, uh, by three o'clock tomorrow and then we will all go with him. Uh, to their campsite, uh, which is, I don't know, half hour, 40 minutes from here. So, and then he'll bring us back the next morning uh, to go summit, and, and then off we go. Um, so, so I was wrong about that, but, uh, but here we are. Um, so I'm taking a pretty much a zero tomorrow, my last zero. And I'm going to actually hitch into town uh, and kind of, whoa, almost lost the phone here. Um, Sorry. Anyway, um, I'm gonna probably I'm gonna go into town and see what they got in Millinaka. Millinaka, is that right? And because I need some clothing for my trip to, to to wear on the plane, I don't want to wear my stinky hiking clothes because I don't want to do that to people on the plane. <laughs> some stinky bum sitting next to him. Uh, so, but I'm gonna go into town and you know eat some good food and get some. And, and see if I can find some clothing of some sort and um, just kind of chill out there for the day and then uh, catch right back. But um, so, yeah, but here I am. Um, there's, let's see out there. There's, uh, I don't know if you can see out there, but there are six other hikers out there, uh, through hikers that started in February and they are here now so that's pretty inspiring that they um that they started in those cold months and they've made it through and they they got here so that's pretty awesome but um, and i've met a couple of them on the trail before um in and out so but they're here um they're gonna summit tomorrow morning uh good for them i'm uh i congratulated them it's pretty awesome so but i'm just gonna chill out here in my hammock and relax and and kind of let my wounds heal, if you will, <laughs> and uh, get some rest because I didn't get a whole lot of sleep last night. Uh, hiked late, and whatnot. But um, but yeah. So uh, this video will probably be the um, yeah the last part of this segment of uh, throw the hundred mile wilderness videos and all that put together here for one video. But uh, what, a, what a week it's been, an absolutely phenomenal week. Uh, super excited about uh, getting to Summit and um, see where we go from here. It's gonna be weird to, uh, to not hike a bunch of miles tomorrow or the next day or the next day or the next day. <laughs> it's gonna be crazy. So, but it's been all, it's been great. And I'm gonna bring back, we'll talk some more later about some of the other, uh, about the entire journey. Um, we'll do, do some different segments and uh, talk about different things on the trail. So, but uh, trying to look at, I, I keep looking at me, but I don't wanna look at me, I wanna look at, over here so you guys can see I'm looking at you. But anyway, so I'm delirious, I'm tired, sleepy. Uh, but anyway guys, I uh, appreciate you guys watching and uh, just stay tuned because there's going to be more adventures coming uh, before too long. Uh, the Appalachian Trail is not the end of the adventures. It's just the beginning. 
So you guys have a great one and, and we'll see you later. Goodbye.